also brought Tabitha to the American Gardens, which are just on the edge of the Cotswolds near Bath. And we're going to go and take a little walk around. Lots of orchids growing here too, which is really nice. And that's Alexander Hamilton, which uh, most people will know from the movie Hamilton. I don't know if I'd actually heard of him before then. Um, probably shouldn't be admitting that, but there we are. Let's go and have a look up here. Wow, that's so beautiful. Look at all the cat mint, and they've got tiny little box hedges. Should we go and have a look at the um, pretty flower in the middle? Wow, it looks like a geranium. Pretty little display. And this is the children's gardens. Tabby's a little bit young to come in here, but we thought we'd come and have a look anyway because it won't be long before she can come down here. Wow, that's beautiful. You wouldn't really know that was in the middle of the Cotswolds, would you? In England. Right, let's go up here for the exhibition. Now we're in the lift going up to the period rooms with a quilt collection and then we're going to go to the folk art gallery and then down to the heritage room. It was so dark in here and there were some other ladies having a look at quilts so I just thought it was polite to film and not do a voiceover but the quilts are absolutely stunning and I really couldn't get over all the craftsmanship and the work that's gone into some of these. <laughs> This room was absolutely full of the most unusual maps with really cool drawings of odd sea creatures and mythical beings and things like that. It's a pretty fun room actually and uh, if you're into maps and into these sorts of things, uh, a little bit like my husband, then this will be definitely up your street. How cute is this? The head of the child? Basically a tin with a little bit of addition something else. Right, give you enough information. That's fine. The little girl more living confidence to uh, join the show. Don't know the status of sunrise, you see. Well, this is a special declaration of independence, and this cousin of John Adams, the second cousin. So that's a special